Hi, I'm Lee Halter with Napier Realtors ERA in Richmond, Virginia. And I'm Kate Garrow, and we are the HG team. And we're going to be talking about the Richmond metropolitan market. We're comparing some really uh, good data that we've just gotten from the fourth quarter of 2019 and what we see happening in 2020 in real estate. And we have some figures, so you're going to see some paper in our hands so we don't forget stuff. So the market's very brisk. It is spring, the buyers are out, and the houses that are on the market are selling really Really, really fast, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. And so we like to look at the big trends and the small trends. So our growth in sales for the fourth quarter are up for the most part. Hanover is up 25%, the city is up 14%, Chesterfield is at 12%, and Henrico, it's flat, it's just at 1%. So then we talk about the homes that have pended. Those are the ones that have gone under contract. Our city is at its highest in four years with 20%. And Chesterfield is at 14%. So here's the interesting thing. Prices are moving up. So our median income in the metro area for a price for a home is $270,000, which is up 7%. Our biggest gain is the city, which is up $41,000, which is a 19% gain. And then Hanover is up $25,000, which is 9%. So then two other metrics we like to look at is a sale price to a list price. That's talking about what somebody asks for the house to be sold for and what it actually sells for. And that's running at about 99%. Yeah, about 1%. 1%. Mm -hmm. Everybody's getting what they're asking. And then the last part of that that we really look at is the days on market. How long is a house staying on the market? Right now we're running at about 34 days on the market, which is pretty flat from what it was last year. Right. And so what we look at is what we call a balanced market. That's about a five or six months of inventory. And that means it's just about equal for buyers and sellers. Well, we have low inventory. So that means that in some areas of our market we may only have a week or two of inventory and th those houses go really really fast mm -hmm. and so that makes you know if it's a really hot area and something has been on for three weeks four weeks five weeks plus you know that there's a problem there with that sale price that's not gonna happen that list price needs to come down so that you can actually sell it so let's sum up what's really going on here we are expanding our job growth because our market is so hot our and low unemployment has really helped everything. We have a very tight inventory, which raises our prices. But don't worry, it's still a great time to buy because interest rates are so low. So when you have such low interest rates, it's almost like having free money. You can afford more because the rate is so low, which makes it great for both a buyer and a seller. So we're here for you. 2020 is actually, even though times are kind of crazy out there right now, it's going to be a great year for real estate if you want to buy and if you want to sell. And the big trend to keep aware of is that all of our millennials and Gen X's and Gen Y's, they're moving out to the counties and the burbs. And those of us living in the burbs are moving into the city and we have many, many clients who fit this. So if you're ready to buy and sell, we're there for you. If you have someone you want to refer, we're there for them. And if you're happy and you want to just sit tight, interest rates are low. Think about refinancing. It's an awesome time to buy, sell, and refinance. Bye. Bye.